the proposed tax measures by the Kenya Kwanza regime tailored towards raising the revenue to finance its budget continues to draw sharp reactions from across the political divide during the launch of defense cs aden duale's book on the record on thursday night the national assembly majority whip silvanas osoro assured president william ruto that kenya kwanza alliance lawmakers will unanimously support the bill government does not lose even when it's unpopular <laughs> but it will not lose with the fact that government does not lose I also want to assure you that even the finance bill will pass. Government does not lose. Teachers attached to the Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education on Friday, May 12th, opposed the housing fund introduced by President William Ruto. Labda ile ya chini kabisa, mwalimu ambaye ako na familia, tunahesabu tunaona ni kitu 1.2 million. Ukitoanisha hizo mahesabu, 1.2 million, ukidivide by hiyo 18,000 mwalimu anafaa kutoa every year. Unapata mwalimu atalipia hiyo nyumba for 66 years. Mimi mwenyewe nikianza kulipa saa hii. 66 years. Kweli mimi nitakuwa hai. Na hata 66 years hata mwalimu akianza kufundisha akiwa na mwaka mmoja. Hiyo 66 atakuwa meritaya. Atakuwa naishi wapi? Sisi tunasema walimu tumejipanga, tulianza kujipanga kutoka kitambo. Tafadhali serikali achana na hii housing levy kwa walimu. While addressing the press, the union argued that a number of its members already owned houses demanding that they should be exempted from the 3% deduction. To the levy of 3%, the reason being our teachers have already constructed houses in their rural homes where they stay with their animals, chicken and water view. On the same notes, I also want to say that those teachers who have not constructed houses have or have already taken loans from circles and mortgages from other financial institutions so that they can construct their own houses. Teachers have their own tastes and their own sets and they have their own areas where they want to put up their houses. So we are saying no to this program. A decent house. In addition, National Council of Churches in Kenya has added their voice to the call for reduction of high taxation proposed in the new finance bill 2023 maisha hayajakuwa vile yalivyokuwa hapo awali kama kanisa tuko na hofu kwa sababu tunajua mafuta ikiguswa hivyo ikipanda mbei ni kumaanisha kwamba kila kitu kitapanda mbei kama ni usafiri gharama itakuwa juu uh, mama kununua unga itakuwa ni shinda mlikuwa mnatumia slogan ya mama boga na mama boga hakuna jambo kubwa ambalo limefanya Mama Boga akainuka ili aweze sasa kufanywa a bigger taxation. So tunaomba viongozi wetu wa kibunge. Tafadhali mukienda katika bunge musipitishe mambo ya kugadamisha mwananchi. Serikali iko na uwezo wa kupunguza muzigo wao na yale mambo anataka kuyafanya wanaweza punguza for now. Lakini wakiendelea kugadamiza yule mwananchi tu ambaye aliadhirika na covid. The same sentiments were echoed by workers union. Kama NHIF, kuna civil servant ama wafanyikazi wa zirikari wamepewa 70,000 outpatient services. Some of them, they have uh, terminal illness kama diabetes, uh, pressure, cancer. Actually, they exhaust that money in three or four months. From there, they start taking care of their families from their pocket. So if they increase anything, they are going to kill such civil servants. Now, coming to the housing levy, many of us have already made arrangements for our retirement. And uh, we do not intend to be given government houses. We know it won't be possible. Government won't be able to give us houses. We made our arrangements. We've committed our money. We have mortgages, we have loans that we used to build houses for ourselves. We don't intend <coughs> to receive government houses. One of the controversial items in the proposed bill is increasing the tax on fuel from 8% to 16%. Additionally, 
the bill proposes a 3% deduction of basic salaries to go towards the National Housing Development Fund. Employers will have to match their employees' deduction with another 3%. Asking government, because you said you wanted public participation, the pronouncement you are making that public servants must pay the housing levy makes nonsense of the public participation. Why don't you then rule by degree? Why do you invite public participation if the government has already made a decision that come what rain or sunshine, they will deduct the housing levy fund? Furthermore, it proposes a 5% excise tax on more products than previous budgets. Additional items said to be taxed include fake beards, eyebrows, eyelashes and wigs. The controversial proposal which seeks to upsurge taxes has already set a stage for a heated debate in and out of parliament with Azimio coalition bracing for a fight. The Azimio leader Rilo Dinga has vowed that his coalition will shoot down the proposals. Our members, those who are with Azimio and who have got conscience, will oppose these proposals. Odinga accused the Kenya Kwanzaa government of unfairly targeting Kenyans already choking under the ever-rising cost of living. The tsunami of taxes in that bill will bury everyone, especially the jobless youth and the poor struggling down at the bottom. The bill is a promissory note to strangle and suffocate the hustlers from whose necks Ruto promised to remove the rope. Azimio team also rejected the proposal to increase income tax from 30 to 35 percent. Odinga highlighted turnover tax, income tax adjustment, housing fund, digital economy taxes, tax appeal tribunals, taxation of reimbursement, taxation of trade associations, increased VAT payments, excess duty on imported cement and tax on beauty products among proposals as the lawmakers will reject. Parliament has called on Kenyans to submit their views on the Finance Bill 2023 to the Departmental Committee on Finance and National Planning by 20th May as a review of the proposals commences with concerns arriving at the proposed higher taxes that will be passed to the consumer at a time when the cost of living is at an all-time high. We believe that this near collapse of our finance sector is exacerbated by high government and priority spending, high taxes that have hurt businesses, massive loan obligations to China, weakening shilling and foreign exchange reserves at their lowest levels ever. And I want to tell the people of Kenya this high cost of living, we are tackling it in three phases. The economy is going on a downward trend. The president is on an accelerator. Amefinya mafuta kabisa inaendelea na akaifinya. The co-driver, regards the gigashagwa, anampigia tumakofi, tuende kabisa, tuendele. Kenyans will be waiting to see which members of the National Assembly will start to be counted and whether they will yield to pressure to shut down the proposals. For Maisha Television, Ambushabi Junior.